Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is I got some heart shaped mirrors, or I believe they're called the Heartbreaker mirrors. Uh, got them from Lowbrow. Um, and we're going to put them on my wife's Sporty. Now, change out mirrors are a really common, easy thing that most people do uh, to customize their motorcycle. For a lot of people, it's one of the first things you can do. It's a really easy task, only really requires two basic tools, and uh, you could you add a torque wrench in there, be a good plan uh, for a third tool. But uh, it's really easy, don't need any lift, you can do it with your bike on the kickstand. So let's jump right into it. First thing, we're gonna do an unboxing of these Heartbreaker mirrors, because everybody seems to like unboxing videos. And then we have a mounting stem, not only with the hardware, but it also comes with an Allen wrench. How handy is that? And a cardboard box. So first thing we'll look at is the mirror here itself. Pretty cool mirror, heart shaped. Ta-da. So it mounts right up on the uh, basic stem. Should be pretty straightforward. Looks like a pretty nice product. Nice finish on it. Let's pop it on the motorcycle. So here we're looking at the right front th handlebar controls. This is the front brake. This is the throttle. Most of you are familiar with that. So this is your mirror stem right here. And this is going to be the same setup no matter what kind of mirrors you have as far as initial removal goes. Down here on the bottom, you're going to have one nut here. This should take a half inch wrench. And it should be kind of tight because you don't want the mirror to move. So somebody probably should torque this down pretty well. But so you're going to hold on to the mirror with your left hand, grab, put the wrench on there with your right hand, and lefty loosey that sucker off of there. And when I say left, imagine you're going down. So you're rotating it clockwise, going down to unthread that nut. You can give it a couple turns to loosen it up. And you can either spin this nut off, or you can hold the nut in your hand and spin the mirror off. Once it unthreads up out of there, a couple more turns, you can lift the mirror up off, the old mirror up off, take the old hardware out, set everything to the side. Now the new mirror comes with a bunch of hardwares, washers, all kinds of weird little spacers and stuff on here. So to give you a rundown, let me set the Allen wrench to the side. To give you a rundown, you have, we're gonna turn it upside down. You have the nut, which should thread up off of there. Then you have a little washer here. And a little washer that has a little split in it. That's going to be a lock washer. That will go underneath the nut. And you have this tapered piece, a flat washer, and a flat washer. Oh, and there's a bushing spacer here in the middle. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bushing and see if it fits in here. It doesn't. So this was a spacer bushing for mounting, so this spacer bushing probably goes to a different year bike. So we aren't going to need this for this bike. So we'll set that to the side. Now for visual aesthetics, I'm going to take that taper washer, and I'm going to put it on there to where when it's mounted on here, the taper side will be pointed up. I'll give a nice clean finish right there. Then we're going to take one of the flat washers. That'll go on first. Then the lock washer, which is the one with the split in it, and then the nut will go on the bottom. So we're going to put these up on there, try not to drop anything, and we'll thread the nut up on there. And righty tighty that on there. Now remember though, righty tighty, think of it as you're looking at it from the bottom because we're threading the nut up. And once it goes on by a few threads, you can take your wrench and tighten this up into place. So right there, it's pretty pretty snug. Now, if you want to, you can actually take your turn signal off and you can torque these to spec with a torque wrench. However, you want to have it want to err on the side of tight because you don't want your mirror suddenly moving on you when you're riding down the highway. So we're not going to go the effort of taking the um, Turn signal off, 
we're just going to put the wrench on there and tighten it up pretty tight. According to the service manual, the torque spec for the main nut on the bottom of the stem is 9 to 11 foot-pounds. And right there, everything should be solid. Grab the mirror mount here, give it a pull forwards and backwards, make sure you can't easily move that thing. Now from here, we're going to mount this mount the mirror on. So we will take our little supplied Allen wrench here. And then there's a shaft here. And on the end of the shaft, there's a little set screw. So that set screw, when we tighten it up, it's going to go in and it's going to pinch the shaft and that'll hold the mirror in place. So we're going to slide this down onto the shaft. Give it an eyeball lineup. And then we'll run the set screw in. And we're initially just going to run it in snug. Now we'll be able to step back, possibly sit on the motorcycle, make sure everything looks straight, make sure everything looks nice, nice and lined up. Then from there, we can take this Allen wrench, put it in here, and righty tighty this up. If you want, you can torque this to spec. I'll add the torque specs in the video here. This would be about 22 inch pounds. But once this is tight, you can position your mirror in place, and that one's ready to go. From here, just jump over the left side and repeat the entire process. Now you'll notice on the back of your mirror, you have three little Phillips screws. What ha the way these work is when you tighten up these Phillips screws, they actually tighten up the ball and socket joint that's inside the mirror. So if you have a mirror that always wants to flop down or go to some weird angle or shakes around all the time, you can look at the back of your mirror. And if you have these three Phillips screws, you can tighten each one of them up just a wee little bit and it will help lock the mirror in place. And it'll Put a little bit more drag on that ball and socket joint so hopefully the mirror will stay wherever you left it so now we're over on the left side of the motorcycle for reference this is the clutch lever and we're now going to remove the left side mirror so again we're going to take our half inch wrench put on the nut there on the bottom turn that technically to the right but it is lefty loosey in relation to the thread remember we're threading the nut down and away so you have to when you say lefty loosey you have to imagine you're looking at the fastener you're removing so in this case we're going to turn this clockwise and that will loosen this up and we can hold the nut in place and just spin the mirror right on off of here you can take the old mirror the old hardware set it off to the side Wipe any dirt and gunk on either. Now, just like on the right side, we have a bunch of nuts and washers, or well, one nut and then a series of washers. Once I get them off the valve stem. So, same as before, we're going to take the stem of the mirror, put the tapered washer on there, slide that down in place. A flat washer, lock washer, and then the nut onto the bottom. And sometimes this takes a little bit of careful fingers because you drop the nut on the right on the lift. So you can slide one washer up on there, hold it with your finger. Slide the next washer up down there, hold it with your finger, then take the nut, slide that up in place. And you might be able to turn that nut to the left and thread up on the stem. Or you can just spin the stem to the right and righty-tighty that sucker up on there. And the threads are not picking up for some reason. There we go. All right, so once the nut's kind of snugged up on there, we'll line up the shaft or the mirror mount shaft and we'll take our half inch wrench again and tighten the nut up again tightening up until everything seems to lock down in place get 
give the mirror stem or mirror mount a good pull. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Then you're ready to take the supplied Allen wrench and install the mirror on the shaft. So again, we're going to slide through that hole there, slide down on to wherever you want on the shaft, completely up to you. I'm going to put it right about there. Take the Allen wrench, snug it up on there, put it in place, turn that, step back, give everything a visual, make sure it all looks good and lined up. Then from there, take the Allen wrench and tighten up this Allen screw. And again, if this mirror is loose, you can tighten up these three little Phillips screws on here and it'll tighten up the ball and socket. But this one's pretty good to go right out of the box. So, there you have it. Everything's mounted on. They look pretty good. And we're ready to go ride. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.